I've got the most latest release for the schedule for the XRP versus SEC case. And Manga was hacked for over 100 million and the Dow voted yes 97% to pay the person even though they know who it is, which may lead Mango Protocol to be insolvent. So much news for you today, so let's leave this screen and go into this one. And I got a question for you before we start. Are you ready for some football? Yes, it's Sunday here, football day in the States. XRP right now sitting at 48.2 cents down, just 0.12% of the last 24 hours. Bitcoin floating even here the last 24 at 19,130. Ethereum, same thing, under 1,300 at 12,82. All right, so we're going to talk some good juice bits here and this is where I need the input from you mango markets yep here we go we hopefully all agree that development speed should not sacrifice safety hence there is no concrete timeline for when protocol users will regain access to their funds yep mango someone said right not someone they dox the guy the dox guy said this everyone he said I did not hack you I used an advanced trading strategy and exploited your weakness within your system. So did he hack him or did he exploit some vulnerabilities that were legal? Hmm, interesting. Either way, he got away with, I believe it was $114 million. They decided to pay him $47 million and they know who the person is. The person has come out and even said, hey, this is me. This is what I did. Dude, and they're still going to give him. 47 million, which may leave the protocol completely insolvent. Avraham Eisenberg, the man behind the $114 million exploit on the mango markets, confirmed his part in orchestrating the attack. It left the protocol insolvent with users' positions in dangers of being liquidated. All right, so that brings me now to the next story. Keep that one in mind. Crypto scam victims seek to hold Coinbase responsible for losses. So let me ask you this. They don't have insurance policies. They're not FDIC insured. So who is responsible for these hack scams in schemes? All right, so if Coinbase lists Coin X and the makers rug pull them, is Coinbase responsible for that? Is it more the makers of the coin? Now, what if Coinbase fails to do due diligence and openly promotes a coin that is done by previous people, maybe that have criminal backgrounds, they've done scams and schemes before in other industries. Would Coinbase then be responsible for the victim? What about Mango? You've got a DAO voting to pay the person, which may lead to insolvency of the fund. People are locked out of their money. So is Mango responsible for that? Is the hacker? How do we do this? I think this is part of the cryptoverse that we need to iron out before things get bigger, before you start seeing more and more money put in. Think, who wants to put in big institutional money without any sort of insurance or liability protocol in place? Let me know in the comments below who you think should be responsible for paying holders back their money. All right, Ripple October will be history changing. Watch out for these dates. Oh my gosh, yeah. XRP has had some pumps here as of late. We're still waiting for the Hinman emails to be released. In fact, they have almost 60 days to release the emails, but I've got those important dates for you. I've got them in an easy to save tweet because don't worry, any article you see in this video will be linked in the description below. Let me read those for you. You can always right click and save as and read them for yourself. Mark them on your calendar at home actually. All right, October 18th, parties file all materials relating to oppositions to summary judgment temporarily under seal. Okay. October 20th, parties meet and confer identity redactions sought by each other in the opposition piece. Now remember, this all has to do with the summary judgment that was filed not too long ago. On the 24th, the parties file public redacted versions of the opposition. The 15th of November, parties file summary judgment reply briefs under temporary seal. So we're already talking in the 15th of November, filing reply briefs briefs. So we've got a ways to go just regarding summary judgment. And my vibe is this. There's too much for each side, right? Each side has enough firepower where I don't think summary judgment is going to be there. I don't think they're going to be able to do it where they're going to say, hey, summary judgment, no trial, let's, we're, we're done. No, I wouldn't be surprised if you see a few small things come out of summary judgment, a few small victories, technicalities, but nothing saying, hey, we don't have to go to trial. The case is over. We're throwing it out. On November 17th, the parties meet to confer the identity reaction redactions sought by each side after the reply briefs. The 21st of November, parties file public redacted versions of the briefs. December 9th, parties file omnibus motions, which can be like 90 to 120 pages, by the way. 
parties file omnibus motion to seal all materials relating to the summary judgments. Okay, we're still in December 9th. Now, December 22nd, parties file oppositions to the omnibus motions to seal. So, XRP SEC case has a while to go. We're dealing with summary judgment, we're dealing with amicus briefs, and we're also dealing with the SEC that has been ordered to release the Hinman emails. They are still refusing to do so. So Mango Protocol, were they hacked or did he just employ a very, very strong trading strategy? Interesting. And now also, who's responsible for paying people back with hacks, scams, and schemes? We don't have FDIC insurance yet for the crypto community, so that either is going to come from the exchanges or they have to go after the hackers and retrieve the funds, which did not happen in Mango because 97% of the votes in the Dow said, hey, pay the fool. The problem is by paying the fool, the protocol is basically left insolvent. And hey, if they don't get things done soon enough and the market goes down, liquidations will happen. They will lose everything. And SEC versus XRP case, everyone's like, hey, it's going to be over sometime soon. I just showed you a schedule. We've got dates leading through end of December. Thank you very much for watching. Check out this cool Crypto Web 3 video right here. I'll put out more videos today for you covering more juicy crypto news. So stay tuned. I'll catch y'all later. Oh, and it's football day.